Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your end of October 2018 love reading. It's Rena here. I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot deck. Whoa, getting a lot of <laughs> major arcana cards, so it sounds like there's a very active period in this uh, particular time frame. Okay. This is um, an experiment that I'm doing. Uh, this is the first time I've done, like, the second love reading in a month and it was more like of a timing you know it's an experiment in timing because I I tend to do those first every month and I feel like I don't know it seems like um, this is uh, this might be a better time to do them I'm not sure but um or maybe just having two a month. Uh, your love life right now is the Four of Swords. So this is whether you're single or in a relationship. If you're single, you might be kind of taking yourself off the market for a while. Or you have been taking yourself off the market. And one of the reasons for that is that you're just... Um, Maybe you're disgusted because of past experiences and you're just, you, do, you, you got turned off to it and you just don't want to do it. Or, um, to me, there's even kind of a spiritual undertone to that card, although that, that's me saying that, that uh, maybe you're celibate or maybe you just are on some kind of other like spiritual path that you don't want to deal with or, you know, that doesn't involve having a relationship. And if you're, in a, if you're in a marriage or a committed partnership, you may be separated so you can get your head together, so you can think. The Four of Swords is about going by yourself to restore, to rejuvenate yourself. And to me, it implies that you have come from a stressful situation that might have depleted you, even physically depleted you. And so there's a sense of being alone at this time. That was That's the bottom line. Um, in the past, we have the Empress card, which connects to Taurus and Libra. So those two signs may have been, either one of those two signs you may have been involved with, but the Empress is the card of the Mother, of motherhood. So an example would be uh, somebody, uh, a woman who gives birth and she finds out that she's being cheated on right away or even, you know, I guess it could be even later on. But but the the point is, is that she may not want to leave altogether because she has a child with this person. So there's always that consideration. And this is why she's kind of mulling things over. Um, if you're single, maybe you just have said, I'm really, I have a, I have like a vision in mind. My vision is to start a family. And I'm not going to waste my time anymore with a person, with another person who is just out for a good time and doesn't want, you know, share my desire. And so it's almost like kind of withholding from that area of life so that you can attract something that is more like what you're looking for instead of um, just the typical relationship that you have found yourself in. And that's kind of like um, part of Law of Attraction, is holding a vision in your mind and not deviating from it with, you know, it's like if you want to have a healthy body, 
and you're you're going to resist temptation of like fast food because you know that it's not nutritious even though it's so tempting in the short term so uh, keeping yourself apart until you find the right one I just I'm sorry I gotta <laughs> there's something I think is so funny <laughs> about this tech that has us <laughs> <laughs> I still don't understand that. But you know what? Maybe it's like the third eye. It's like because when you're going apart, you're kind of like um, going within, too. So maybe that's why they have that. I just think that's funny. Um, the card that crosses you is the Emperor. So maybe, was this an Aries person? Why do I always, I always think of the, I, I've had other people tell me that they think it should be the Capricorn too because you know Aries doesn't seem like the kind of sign that's very like serious and you know interested in that type of a position and that deliberative you know Aries is very um, is very spontaneous and somebody who's like a judge or you know whatever a leader like that is usually very cautious and but they call it, they say it's Aries, so, in any case, uh, somebody like that, that has been creating problems in your life, but looking at it from something within yourself, there is this thing that the, the emperor symbolizes, which has to do with your own um, power in life, your own control. And so in the challenging position, it means that you have abdicated your power, you have somehow allowed, maybe in a relationship, allowed somebody else to have control. Um, and it might, might not have been for some kind of a bad reason. You might have simply felt like you didn't have power. A lot of times people find their power in very extreme circumstances because little by little they lost it through an abusive partner and it got so bad that they had to do something and that was when they realized their true power. And so it's, it's, we can, we can, um, change our lives for the better, even under adverse circumstances. Actually, that tends to be a lot of times when people finally get that motivation. It has to get bad enough. And uh, But, you know, speaking of getting bad enough, you know, the emperor in that challenging position, if you're still with somebody who is very controlling and who doesn't really respect your opinions, that could be saying, you know, there's really nothing to think about. You need to get away from this person. The higher message is the magician. This kind of goes along with the emperor upright, which is the law of attraction. It's um, learning to be resourceful, self-sufficient, um, actually, that's almost more the practical version of it. But that's what the magician on a practical level is about. You don't need other people. You have it within yourself. And this is a card of self-empowerment. It's number one. Looking out for number one. Is that always selfish? And But I, but I do like to bring in the law of attraction because... You probably heard this expression, if you've always if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always gotten. That's pretty straightforward, isn't it? And so we have to be willing to um, change course if we want to see change in our world. When you change, everything changes around you. I'm gonna kind of speed this up because I think they're gonna have work they're doing work. Uh the Mother of Swords is your, the advice, Queen of Swords, and that is head over heart. Don't allow your emotions to, uh, to take over when you're making a decision to make a, a wise decision. 
you again, especially if you're kind of mulling over something, you may f still care for somebody that is not good for you, and that's understandable, but it's not going to be a good idea to do so. What's coming in is the Seven of Cups. This is a lot of opportunities coming your way. Um, you know, Jupiter is almost going into our sign as Sagittarians. And that will, in general, for sun or rising Sagittarians, possibly expand your horizons in various ways, including relationships. So um, people tend to be fear-based and say, oh, I have to have this relationship because what if there's no one else that's going to come along. And first of all, I think that's not a good way of, you know, conducting yourself in life because you don't want to be in a relationship just because you might not get another one. That's fear-based fear thinking. Um, and the outcome is the Nine of Wands. And this is kind of like, I think, just the lesson learned. It's about boundaries, and to me, you know, a lot of times I talk about red flags, and this is like, I think the more that you can spot red flags, then you've got it covered, because even at the very beginning of relationship, even if somebody's trying very hard to hide their true nature... I think a lot of times you can really tell what a person is about in a very little way. So being able to do that and knowing what your boundaries are, what you're willing to accept and not accept is very important. Okay, guys, there's, there's those, um, they're doing something. So I'm going to cut it off here. If you'd like a private reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.